I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos and two very, very cool pianos just arrived barely um, here at the, at the shop. They've, they've got a long way to go, but uh, they are going to be worth it. Long way to go in terms of, uh, they, they need to be completely rebuilt, but uh, um, they are going to be literally world class, and I don't say that lightly, world class instruments. Um, the first one, is this piano? Uh, this is this is an Erard, and it was it was actually manufactured a uh, a, a significant year in Utah history. In fact, probably the most significant year of Utah history. If you have a guess, um, text uh, text the store or email the store, and um, I'd like to see what people's what people's guesses are as to the year. Okay, so let's check this out. These legs, um, this, uh, this burled um, walnut, and the ivory, the lyre. This music desk is just unbelievable. We were trying to figure it out. There, there is the realistic possibility that, that this very piano was played by either Chopin or, um, or Franz Liszt. There is the very realistic possibility that because it's an Erard, because of the era, because of the, because of the size, this would have been of course in a, in a wealthy person's home um, in, the, in the 19th century. Um, there's your hint, there's a hint. Uh, there's, there's a very realistic possibility that, that they, they could have played this very instrument. Who knows? But we're, we're kind of trying to research that. We have a list of, we have a list list, a list of everywhere that Franz Liszt played um, in Europe through, uh, through his, his career. So we're trying to make that connection here. Okay, piano is unbelievable and gorgeous. Okay, the other piano, and this one is, is as significant and cool as that one is. This one is even more significant. This one, like that, that one absolutely is world class. This one is like cream of the cream of world class. This is a Steinway B, which, which Steinway uh, aficionados or enthusiasts uh, often claim is the pinnacle of, of all of Steinways. Uh, not the D, not the bigger one, not the nine foot, but the B, the seven foot, and that's what that's what this is. Then you you look at this. This is one original, uh, originally in 1901. There's only one other piano like it, as far as my research can tell me. It's in South Africa, and uh, other so other than that, so it's what's 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 next to unique. What, some, so email, if, if you email your guess on the year, what's, what's like, not unique, but there's two of a kind, is there another word for that? Email me if you can think of that other word. But that's what this piano is. It's not unique because there's one other in South Africa. Okay, this piano was taken um, from a, uh, this was in an estate in New York. And... Uh, and when it's rebuilt, it is going to be unbelievable, as if it's not already. Okay, so all of this, this is not paint, this is inlay. This is all inlay wood. And all of this, uh, this work, so kind of a, kind of a Louis XV style legs. So this piano is un unreal, absolutely amazing. So yeah, I'm really excited to have these. Um, so the, the plan, the current plan, is to to get them rebuilt kind of on our own time, as as we have. Uh, um, uh, gaps or, or um, well, resources available in the shop. Um, but 
If you're interested in either one of these absolutely world-class instruments, let us know and we can we can bump it up right to the top of the list. Thanks for watching.